One of the greatest benefits of Logos is the amount of time you'll save in your sermon or lesson preparation using custom layouts that fit your workflow. For example, I can create a layout that lets me read my English text alongside my favorite study Bible. You'll notice in this layout that I've linked my study Bible notes to my English text so that they'll scroll together. This gives me access to commentary on any given passage. Here in John chapter 2, we come across several points of interest that need further explanation, like ancient Near Eastern weddings, stone jars, and the title Master of the Banquet. You'll notice that as I scroll through these texts, the Faith Life Study Bible scrolls with me and comments on each point, which gives me a better understanding of these cultural concepts. I can also create a layout that lets me study a passage more in depth, using my preferred Bible side by side with a Greek New Testament, coupled with my favorite lexicon and commentary series. So whether I want to look up a Greek term and see it defined in BDAG, or access expert notes on a passage, this layout helps me do this without opening additional panels or searching my library for the right resources. In addition, layouts allow me to get at the information I want faster. In this video, I'll build a layout from scratch, then demonstrate what it can help you accomplish. But before we begin, let me highlight a few things I want the layout to do. First, I want to compare English translations. Second, I want to perform word studies on English words and original language terms. Third, I want to better understand concepts that were common to the biblical world. Fourth, I want this layout to give me access to a variety of commentaries. And finally, I want to see how other people preach the text I'm studying. This is going to help me in both my interpretation and application of the passage. So now that I know what I want to do, let's get started building a custom layout that helps me do these things. First, I want to open up English versions that I want to compare and read. I want one to be a formal equivalent and the other to be a dynamic equivalent. So I'm going to open up the LEB and the NIV by going to the command bar and inputting the abbreviations for each version, then positioning the resources side by side. Next, I want to link the two texts together. Now when I jump to a text like John 1.43 in the LEB, the NIV follows along. Finally, I want to open up the NA28 Greek edition and link this resource like the others. Now, the second thing I want to do with this layout is study specific words of interest. To do this, I'm going to open up the fact book, then a favorite Bible dictionary, along with a Greek lexicon, and place them all on the same panel. These tools and texts are going to allow me to study English terms, biblical concepts, and Greek lemmas. Now I can double-click a term in the LEB and see it defined in the Lexham Bible Dictionary, or double-click a term in the NA28 and jump straight to that entry in BDAG. This is one of the fastest ways for defining terms, no matter what language they appear in. In cases where there's a person, place, event, or concept that I need more information on, I can use the fact book to get visual and textual information on any biblical topic. As a final step, I want to open the Bible Word Study Guide in the lower left panel. This will allow me to input an English term and see the original language terms behind it, or input a Greek term and see how it's rendered throughout the New Testament. The Bible Word Study Guide also exposes alternate meanings for Greek and Hebrew words and shows me how a Greek term is used in the Septuagint. Finally, I want to add a passage guide to this same panel. This gives me access to all my commentaries and sermon collections. If you want, you can link this guide to your English text so that a guide report will automatically generate for the passage you're studying. So now when I'm reading through a text like John 1, 43-51, I can first compare English translations. Notice the LEB says Jesus wanted to depart from Galilee, while the NIV says He decided to leave. I can also double-click this term in the NA28 and see it defined in BDAG, or enter the term into the Bible Word Study Guide and see how it's rendered throughout the New Testament. In this case, the term fellow is translated all kinds of ways in the ESV. This term can be expressed as a decision and sometimes as a desire. Or I can click on an unfamiliar place or concept and see it defined in my favorite dictionary. Or go one step further and enter this term into the fact book. This layout also allows me to consult commentaries to gain insight or test my findings against trusted scholars. Finally, I can browse relevant sermons to round out points of application. This section of the passage guide is going to show me hits from the sermon collections that I own. From my screen, you'll see that several of my favorite preachers spoke on this text at one point in their ministry. One of my favorite sermon collections to consult is Tim Keller's, which you can see contains four sermons on this text preached from 1990 to 2009. Now I can save this layout so I can come back to it again and again by going into my layouts and selecting Save as Named Layout, then save it under a name you'll remember. Have fun creating your own layout 
one that fits your workflow and gets you to the right information faster. 